Assalamu alaikum and salam sejahtera to all panels and audience. I am Nazahia binti Sali. On behalf of my friends Nur Iliana binti Abu Bakar and Zuhaila binti Muhammad from Polytechnic Ibrahim Sultan. Now, I would like to present my paper on best refrigerant for ice cream making process. This presentation will focus on comparison of two types of refrigerant which one is better for the use of ice cream making process. And for this study, we use an ice cream rolling machine as an experiment rig to collect all the data for the analysis. According to Petal and Banerjee, ice cream is a sweetened frozen food typically eaten as a snack or dessert and was considered as a food for enjoyment rather than a basic food. It is usually made from dairy products such as milk and cream and often combined with other fruits or other ingredients and flavors. While Sukuma said that ice cream may be defined as a frozen dairy product made by suitable blending processing of ice cream and other milk products together with sugar and flavor with or without stabilizer or color and with the incorporation of air during freezing process. Okay, as you can see in this slide, this is common ice cream rolling machine available in market. In the diagram shows the main component in the refrigeration system. Each of these components has specific function and relate to each other. If any of these components fail to function, it will affect the whole system. This concept is actually similar to our home, air conditioning system and in our car. This is the function of the components. The first one is compressor. The function of the compressor is to compress the vapor refrigerant from the evaporator and to raise the pressure so that the corresponding saturation temperature is higher than that of the cooling medium. It also continually circulates the refrigerant through the refrigerating system. While the condenser is used in high pressure side of a refrigeration system, its function to remove heat of the hot vapor refrigerant discharged from the compressor. The heat from the hot vapor refrigerant in condenser is removed first by transferring it to the walls of the condenser tube and then from the tubes to the condensing or cooling medium. Next one is evaporator, which is used in the low vapor side of refrigeration system. The liquid refrigerant from the expansion valve enters into the evaporator where it boils and changes into vapor. The function of evaporator is absorbing heat from the surrounding location of medium which cool by means of refrigerant. And the last one is expansion valve which can be defined as a device that divides the high pressure side and the low pressure side of the refrigeration system. It is connecting between the receiver containing liquid refrigerant at high pressure and the evaporator containing liquid refrigerant at low pressure. For this experiment, we use two types of refrigerant as a comparison. These two refrigerants were selected as these two types of refrigerant is the common refrigerant used in refrigeration system. The first one is R134A, which has some good content, non-toxic, non-flammable, relatively stable, and environment friendly. Commonly used in the vehicle air conditioning system and commercial refrigerator. Replacing refrigerant R12 with refrigerant R134 is said to be contributing to global warming and the greenhouse effect. And the other one is R404A which has some good characteristics which are non-toxic, non-flammable and relatively stable. R404A is environmentally friendly refrigerant and recently used in the cooling system due to its high cooling rate. These are the problem statements. Why I choose this issue to be the title of my project? 
Firstly, the quantity of ice cream can be produced by ice cream roll machine is limited. Secondly, time taken for ice cream to completely freeze. Ice cream making process needs time to freeze before can be served. And the last one is not many research has been done on how different type of refrigerant affect the ice cream hardening process, especially for ice cream rolling machine. Most of the published studies focus on function of additive and stabilizer in ice cream hardening process and freezer system optimization for a mass production. There are two objectives for this project. The first one is to compare and characterize the performance of two refrigerants with the respect to the ice cream freezing time and rate of cooling by using Minitab software. And the second one is to propose the better refrigerant that can be used to shorten the time taken to produce ice cream. Here is the scope of the study. As I mentioned before, there are two types of refrigerant used in this project, which are R134A and R404A. An ice cream rolling machine is used as a test rig to collect data. The data taken will focus on time taken to produce an ice cream and how it will increase the amount of ice cream can be produced. The time taken to produce an ice cream is the time for the system achieve the ice cream frozen temperature. The characteristic of the refrigerant, which one is better? Evaluation using ANOVA or MINITAP and some analysis. This is some of literature review which has been conducted as a guideline and reference for this project. This is to ensure that this project is genuine and has specific objectives to achieve. The methodology of this project can be illustrated in this flow chart. In this project, the data was collected from the experiment and the experiment was ice cream making. In the experiment, the basic ingredient of ice cream is used. The quantity and ingredient ratio used in this experiment is according to the real ice cream making process. The experiment divided into two procedures, and the only difference between these two procedures is the type of refrigerant, R134A and R404A. The ice cream making process is standard as an ice cream maker does. During this process, there were two types of data collected which are temperature of the ice cream for every 10 minutes and time taken to reach ice cream frozen temperature which is negative 8 degrees of Celsius. And this for the data collected from the experiment. As we can see here, in all sets of data, the time taken to reach frozen temperature is different. The temperature for every 10 minutes were also slightly different between these two refrigerants. Generally, we can assume that the performance of R404 is better than R134A. To verify this result, this data were analyzed using Minitab. This is the result generated by Minitab. The mean is between 0.258 and 4.409 higher in R134A than R404A. The T value for the test is 2.65 which is associated with a P value of 0.077. Thus, reject the null hypothesis at the alpha equal to 0.10 level and it can be concluded that there is a statistically significant difference between the mean of the population. The two sample t tests also can be presented in box plot as in this figure. This box plot was also generated by Minitab using the same data. From this box plot value, it is clear that there was a significant value between these two refrigerants. The 90% confidence interval does not include HO, so the null hypothesis is rejected and can be concluded that the difference exists in cooling rate between refrigerant R134A and 
refrigerant R404A. This one is the result of pair T test. From this result, we can see that the P value will be low. Thus, reject the null hypothesis at 0 0.10 alpha level and conclude that refrigerant R404A cooling rate is better than R134A. This is time series plot. Easier to see the difference of the performance between the two refrigerants. This time series plot indicates that the cooling rate of R404A refrigerant is better than R134A. Also, from the plot, it is clear that R404A refrigerant reach the ice cream freezing temperature negative 8 degrees Celsius faster than R134A refrigerant. As a conclusion, there are two main points can be highlighted which are number one, from the time series plots, it is clear R404A refrigerant provide higher cooling rate compared to R134A refrigerant. R404A shows better characteristic to be used as a refrigerant. And number two, the time taken to achieve freezing point temperature using R404A refrigerant is shorter than using R134A refrigerant in all three experiments. This is some recommendation to improve the result of the experiment. First, improve the efficiency of the machine with some modification on the design. By improving the efficiency of the machine, we can reduce the losses and at the same time, we produce better results. My second recommendation is to use other type of refrigerant as an alternative. As we all know, every year, there will surely be a new discoveries than the existing one. By comparing many types of refrigerants, we can find the best refrigerant for specific use, which is more practical and cost efficient. If you have any question, please drop the comment below. Thank you.